so great to have all the kids doing all the hard work. We left in kind of a rush, so they're rigging up some uh, some more bows for us. We picked Dad up at the airport, so we will make him make sure he was kitted out. And Seth, Adriana, and Vance are getting them all squared away. Well, on this trip, we had brought the whole crew. Not only did we have Michelle, Jeb, Seth, and Trent, but we had Adriana, Seth's girlfriend, Vance, one of the guides here at Full Draw Outfitters. We had our great buddy Larry from Texas, and we also had my dad, or Grandpa. I was uh, I was telling Seth about when you were younger, and we used to do the off cedar key during the daytime. Yeah, the sharks and the stingray. For sharks and stingrays, that's it. That was years you were ago. A little younger then. Oh, yeah, I guess you're about 25. <laughs> what are you now, 70? Oh, yeah. oh, very funny. Well, besides Captain Nick and his son Nick, we also had Captain Craig. Captain Craig is awesome, and we have a blast with him every time we go down because he usually helps Nick out. Now, we also learned all kinds of awesome Louisiana slash Cajun phrases. Like, for example, I learned the meat off a of fish is not a fish filet, it's a filet. Filet, yeah, that's what it is, not a filet. Filet, there's a lot of cool things that they throw out there and every once in a while you're like, what was that? Come again? Mosquitoes are bad, but not now. hours up and my dad stayed on the boat as excited as any little kid shooting fish. First couple shots were pretty rough. Oh, right, right over him. Top of right over him, real much. Good time, shoot below him. Oh, I think he went right. There he is. You get him, Larry? Throw the, the reel it up. Larry, first shot. Woo! And then dad dialed in, and I don't know that he missed too many after that. Get him, dad! Nice! Shot Dad! Hey! Dad! Nice shot! Dad! Keep it! He ain't missing anymore. Nice shot, Dad! Dad. Oh. oh my god! Oh my gosh, Dad! Nice shot! Yeah. One of the great things about boat fishing is you don't have to be quiet. Usually when you're bow hunting, you gotta be quiet. And it's usually you by yourself. When you're boat fishing, it's a whole crew of people. You're laughing, you're shooting, you're having a great time. So it's a type of bow hunting that's an absolute blast. Get him. Oh! Nice shot, Larry. You know, when I look back at some of the old photos of me bow fishing, I crack up because one of the things that I've always enjoyed is going after different species. And that's one of the reasons I love Louisiana. Because down there, we've shot stingray, we've shot sharks, we've shot gar. And when I say gar, like short nose, long nose, alligator gar, we've shot sheephead, we've shot drum, redfish, catfish, just a myriad of species. I just wanted to work in the word myriad. That means a lot. So all kinds of different stuff. And then I look back, I've enjoyed boat fishing, not only for carp and other stuff, but I enjoy going after different things. In fact, I got so addicted to boat fishing, one of like the highlights, if you will, is some of the neat things I boat fish, including me taking a marlin, again with my buddy Larry, down in Mexico with our bows. Pretty incredible. Talk about big game boat oh. fishing. Well, that's pretty much, a, I think about as big as you can get. Yeah, they won't let you take a killer whale. That would be pretty cool though. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Hungry, hungry. 
Yeah, baby. Yeah, Thank baby. You. Everybody <laughs> here. Bow fishing can be a lot of things to different people. For us, it includes frogs, gar, carp, alligators, marlin, any anything. If you can shoot it with an arrow and it's like kind of water dwelling, we call it bow fishing. Everywhere, redfish, gar, sheephead, drum, Un unbelievable night, midnight blue, Nick and Nick, and we've had an incredible night. My dad, Michelle, me, buddy Larry, unbelievable. I'm Fred Eichler, you're watching everything Eichler. We're fishing with the guys from Midnight Blue again and having an absolute blast. Unreal. <laughs> Well, every night was amazing. We spent a couple nights bow fishing, and one night, I think Michelle shot this big alligator gar, and then they're like, shoot it again. My dad, with the fair recurve, puts another arrow in it. I don't even know who else shot it. I think there were three arrows. That is a big gar. Woo! Nice. <laughs> Look at that! Yeah. Gar! <laughs> nice job! Shell <laughs> oh. Dad with an awesome follow up yeah, to put nice two follow. arrows in him. They're fighting this big alligator gar. Get it in the boat, it's almost five feet long. A huge alligator gar. Now, great thing about a big alligator gar like that is you get a back strap off of like a white tailed deer. A lot of amazing boneless meat that's way better than you would think. If you don't eat gar, but you shoot them, start eating them. They're pretty tasty. I got a redfish, and Michelle and Dad just shot a giant gar. He looks like he's five foot, doesn't he? That's a five foot alligator gar. Look at the teeth on him. Yeah, prehistoric. He's a monster, isn't he? Pretty cool. Michelle shot it with the bear compound. Dad shot it with the old bear recurve. They had two arrows in it. And got that big rascal in. Look at the size of that fish. That's the biggest guy I've ever shot. So. That was awesome. It was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right there. That's a big fish. Did you got him? Yes. We got one. Hold up. I think I stoned him. It is a big one. Oh, she stoned Oh, my gosh. Oh. Drum. Big drum. Another thing they shot was some huge drum. Huge drum. Now, they look like they're gonna be absolutely delicious, and the meat's fine, but it's a little wormy. So you just kinda get over, gotta get over that. Just wanna cook it a little bit so you're not like, you know, tapeworming it up or something. They look nasty.